Hello everyone, today we are going to be building something cool. Of course, it's inspired by Webflow because why not? This is what we're doing here. <laughs> and I think it's a pretty cool effect. It's very simple. You would not think that it's this simple without code or installing a plugin to do this. So let's get into it. Let's start by adding a container on the page and I'm going to choose this with the direction horizontal because we want our columns to sit one next to the other in this container so i'm gonna justify the content center center and align center i will set it to full width and set it to be with 100 percent and height 100 vh i will also add a margin top of 100 percent uh, 100 pixels this is up to you and it depends a lot on what you have on the page but i want to separate it from what i have already on the on this page so this is up to you as i said i will remove the padding and this is what i do and i'm trying to do more consciously uh remove all the paddings from all the containers before adding elements to them because it kind of interferes with the design and the padding that you already add to the container so keep that in mind i'm going to add a padding of 150 pixel top and 150 pixel bottom and we are all set so far so far so good also a little disclaimer we are going to be using a lot of containers and the reason for this is because we need to nest and overlay containers for in order for this to work so if you are a little bit wary and you think that the speed of your website will be impacted by these too many containers then maybe this is not for you but you could also balance this container that I have on this effect with the rest of the pages having less containers. So keep that in mind. I wanted to say this before people say, oh, you're using too many containers. Yes, I know, but all right. So let's add another container, as we said. So this is the container that is going to be the column that is going to hold the videos and the images. I'm gonna set this to full width and I'm gonna set it to a width of 33%. So this is the width of the column and I will give this a height of 100%. I will set everything center, center. The direction is of the uh, column is going to be column vertical because the videos and images will stack on top of each other. Of course, remove the padding and align self center. Let's add the first container. This container will actually hold our image and video. So it's going to be like a little pack that we're creating here. Okay, so of course I removed uh, the margins and the padding and I'm gonna set this to full width. And of course it's going to be 100%. So 100% of the container that is sitting in. Okay. All right. So I will set the content to be start because we are going to be adding a heading and a text editor and we want this to be at the center and at the start. So this is what we're doing. Okay. Align items center because we want them to be in the center and align self center. Also, let me give this a height of 60% can be 70 actually we're going to give the image and the video a height of 70 so let's set this to 70 also let's not forget let's give this uh, column a direction uh, vertical and really that's it for now okay and now we're gonna start adding our containers that will hold our image and video okay so one is this one and I'm gonna work on this and I'm gonna duplicate it and then add the image to it. So let's set it to full width. So let's set this to 90%. Let's set the height to 70%. Direction, column vertical, start, center, center, remove the padding. All right, now let's go to the style of this container and set the background type to be video and drop your link in there. I have this link basically <laughs> The images and the videos are stolen from the website that I am taking this inspiration from. So I'll have a link to that website in the description as well, if you want to have a look. But I don't have it basically in the WordPress library, media libraries. So I'm going to give this container a border of five pixels. And now we are going to be adding our text in here. So let's go to heading. I'm going to drop it in here and I will give alignment center 
and let's go to style it because this is really ugly so far okay we can play with this uh, a little bit later let's look for the font db garamond and set oops no set the font size to be what 4.4 and let's change this content to something better i'm going to give this heading a margin top of 100 so let's give this heading a different color let's see if, let's see what we have here okay this is much better and i am going to add a text editor here and just say ugh, miami florida let's style it i'm going to make it white leave it as is in terms of typography and set this to 1.1 and semi bold that should do it i will publish it let's have a quick look and this is how it's looking all right nothing too interesting so far what i'm gonna do now is basically duplicate this container remove the video setting we don't want it let's publish it and also let's reload for whatever reason the videos are not playing but i have a sus suspicion because i don't have them in the wordpress media library they don't play in the elementor preview maybe or in the elementor editor maybe i don't know but they do play on the preview page so that's good okay so i'm going to add an image to this second container and this image is going to be a background overlay so let's go to choose the background overlay and i am going to go with this image make sure that you set the opacity to one and of course set the image to be center center no repeat and cover all right i will publish this let's have a look it's going to look very random like this what we want now basically is to bring this image on top of the video which makes sense right to achieve the effect that we want all right so what what we want to do is go to advanced while we're still in the image container and switch the position to absolute and as you can see our image is on top of the video let's publish as you can see the video is showing a little bit through which is very strange and i realized that one way you can fix that is basically remove the zero from the offset horizontal orientation and just publish and the problem is solved okay it's not working because we still need to add a little bit of code to make this work it's very minimal and it's no problem so in the video container make sure to go to advanced and give this a class and i am going to drop in my css and in the image container we are going to give this a uh, class as well overlay image or thumbnail or whatever you want to be let's copy this let's add it in here and we are going to drop in our css also let's set the hover and this should work let's publish it let's see how it looks and this is how it's looking it's fabulous right i love it it's such a simple effect and but it has something of an elegance to it and i think it's very striking okay so if you have been on the original website and if you scrolled a little bit on the page you were able to see that there's a parallax effect to this images columns or whatever so when you scroll basically as you can see there's like a minimalistic movement to them so we can add motion effects for example i will take the example of this because they're already in columns and they're more than i showed you earlier so let's go to motion effects and you can set them from here so scrolling effect is on and go to set the vertical scroll and basically this column would go up 1.5 
uh, speed and the viewport is going to be from 0 to 100. The third column will have the same settings and the second column is going to have a direction of down, a speed of 4.4 and a viewport 73% to 100. We can go all the way to 75, whatever. So let's publish and let's have a look. It is very minimal, barely, you can barely see it, but it is happening. You can go a little bit more dramatic with it, but I wouldn't recommend it because it has a little bit of a, I don't know, not an elegance to it. Let's just say that. Anyway, you can play around and see what works for your use case and yeah, fabulous, right? So if you were wondering if this effect works on mobile, it doesn't work to the extent that is working on desktop, obviously, because there's no mouse over or hover on mobile devices, but not everything that works on desktop has to work on mobile. I think it's still useful and you should use it. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time.